Welcome, YouTube, to a new episode of Dying Light. I Turn in the later gas. gas I'm on the brain, but I guess you need it for his line of work. Craig, Takes you. all kinds to make a world. Even his okay, I'll see you there. Is one of the worst give me the reward. If you ask me. He said I should give you this. Grill him and kill him. Thank you very much. Now I'm off to the fisherman's village, and then I will return for the Big Bang thesis. Hello, Gersel. So, it's you again. Look, you can tell Rise that he can bite me. Hey, what's that? Have you brought the herbs? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. No you ask me food to. scavenging from now on. Wait. Well, I still can't the figure food? you out. But here's your prize. I think you deserved it. Thousand bucks, eh? That's not bad, I suppose. Given all the trouble you've caused me, though, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Welcome to another little... The little interlude. We're here. At the trap door. I'm getting close to a, uh, a survivor level. And I'm gonna turn in my drop my drops, but I'd like to be as close as possible, so paying a visit to my good friend Scammy. Okay, not down there, right here. Hey, open up in there. Who are you? Crane from the tower. I heard a woman screaming. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's my wife. She's a uh, she's giving birth. Oh shit, is there anything I can do? We need alcohol. To disinfect, please help us. Alcohol? Uh. Five thousand? Holy shit, dude! Yeah, I've got I guess it's because it, they eat so much Thank of your alcohol. You. Oh, this is gonna be a big help. But uh, is that all you could find? It's not really enough. I'd go out myself, but I can't leave my wife now. Let me see if I can find some more. Hey, it's Crane. I found some more. Yeah! Great, because we're going through it like water. But, ah, oh, is that it? It's almost enough, but not quite. You must have a lot of germs in there. Oh, with this terrible plague, everything has to be clean. Spotless. I can't risk my newborn getting infected. We must have more alcohol. The disease is actually transferred from a bite that causes... Hey, I've got the alcohol. Everything okay in there? Oh, you got some more? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, cheers. Bye. Hmm. I could let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. Hmm, makes you think. Ooh, perfect. We're gonna drink our granny's milk to the ground, down to the ground, down to the ground. Of course. Sell our 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 sell I don't think there is. They they were stuck down here. Which I don't really get, like, is that supposed to be ooh, household supplies. Like is that supposed to be uh, cause I talked about this like a little like environmental stories that kinda you know, you just like look at see what happened, but is that what's supposed to happen there? Like, so, you know, somebody came and got scammed and was like, okay, screw you guys, I'm gonna trap you in there, so you die, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, nice. I tried to grapple and it didn't work. Anyway, I'm gonna turn in these... I'm almost there, so I'll just keep recording, but... I'm gonna turn in these drops. Come on. Come on, what the hell was that? Turn in these drops, hopefully that'll be a level. Then I'll get back to Kurt. Wait. I was going towards the quest objective, not the uh, postmaster. Or quartermaster. Down here. And then I think I'm going to try to do the witch quest. 
I don't... I remember it being kind of long, though. Not all in one video, probably, but... Thanks. Great job. We'll make good no! Not enough! Shit! Hopefully I don't die. Alright, if I find a survivor, I gotta help him, because I want to get this level done. One thing I wonder about Dying Light 2 is, like, is looting going to be as big of a factor? Because, like, the thing is, it's a fairly, like, I don't want to say minor, but it's not that big of a deal in this game. Like, sure, if you don't loot at all, you're going to be in kind of a shitty position, but... You know what I mean? Like, how often do you go into a random house and search it, right? Unless you have a quest where you need to, or anything? You know, something like that? So I wonder, like, how big of a deal looting is going to be, because it's like, it's further in the future, so there's going to be less loot remaining. There's already barely anything now. A bomb for me? I've so, got the prototype. Know. It's on the table, ready to be tested. There's a barricaded tunnel nearby. It's chock full of volatiles during the day, but at night it should be pretty clear. You won't find a better place to test a bomb. Okay, I'll try the tunnel and let you know how it went. One more thing. Remember about the firecrackers. The bomb will go off as soon as they're done popping. That's how much time you have to get the hell away. Good luck. Thank you. <coughs> Wait. What's this? <coughs> now, what have you got? Someone must have turned the antenna on. We're picking up signals from all over town. Ooh. One of them is from Hansen's group. Hansen used to run security at the tower, but he thought the building was too vulnerable. He wanted to move everyone to a new location. Of course, Brecken wouldn't have it. So him and some others up and left. We never heard from them after that, until today. You can hear for yourself. This is Seren. I'm with Hansen's group. There's been an accident. And we need help. I'm concerned who might be listening, so I can't be specific. Please, come quickly. It just repeats. Brecken know about this? He said until we actually talk to someone, he doesn't want to risk sending a runner out there. All right, maybe I'll go out and have a look. I'd appreciate it. Hansen ran a tight ship. I can't understand how things could have... So this quest, I might actually be have time to do in this episode. It's a good amount of uh, XP, too. <sighs> It's a pretty easy quest, um, just the risk of falling and dying when you're, when you don't like latch on. Are you serious, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeet! No! I don't know the slam ability, but I was hoping I could still just like hit him as I dropped. I don't suppose your shotgun respawns. No. What does this level have? Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm waiting until I hit level 12. I'm coming up on level 12. So, I want to take a look at this during the day. I guess it is full of volatiles. There's a couple. You get fucked. Get fucked. What are you gonna do? 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 What are you? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, zombie? Huh? Huh? Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You wanna go? Jeez, they're really coming. So I guess I never actually really came here during the day. But I guess it is full volatiles. Kind of neat. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be, but... Look at him. Standing there. Menacingly.
Yeah, I was thinking about like going in and shotgunning him, but then I was like, hey, wait a minute. I'm close to a level. Lol. Wouldn't it be better to plant the bomb at night, wait until the day, and then blow it up remotely? I feel like kind of a waste. What's the other side of the tunnel like? Hang on. Uh, I kind of want to go take a peek. But I won't. I don't think that place is full of volatiles during the day, or like normally though. I think it's part of the quest. Man, what? I wonder if you can come here while this quest is still active. And he's still in there with his fucking megaphone. Let's wait for stamina. Throw it down. Kurt? I'm here, Gray. It's no good. It's not working. Not working? Huh. That's unexpected. All right. A little on-the-fly surgery should do the trick. What the fuck? First, open the casing by making an incision just below the negative terminal post. Peel back the casing... Stay back! Nest and the barricade. All right, the tunnel's now passable. Hey, I told Easy. you, my friend, if I build it, Hello. it's going to explode. Come see me, and I'll give you the blueprint. Hey, look at that, he didn't even die. But then I two hit that other one. There we go. What? That wasn't- What? I didn't get double XP for that. Rip off. Alright, that's fine. Disappointing. Whatever. Finished. Easy, easy quest. That was actually a lot. Like, that's the hardest it's ever been. I mean, that still wasn't even hard, but... Why is that unnoticed? I fucking killed a volatile and I was screwing with that other one for like two minutes. But yeah, I've never had a volatile follow me into the tunnel before. It's kind of spooky. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think the last time I did fight a volatile, or the last time, you know, I fucked with one, I was on New Game Plus, maybe? Because the last time I played this game, I was, you know what I mean? I was in New Game Plus. So maybe that's why it had so much this health. This is for you. I've also modified the case a bit. Cans instead of batteries. Smaller bang, but cans are easier to find and to carry. Hi. Thanks, Kurt. Is that a level? Yes, it is. Level 14. Learn how to use weapon blueprints more effectively every time you use a crafted one. The elemental fix is increased. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Trap bombs are kind of cool, but meh. Yeah. Cool. Total security. Okay. 
I've been alive, or I've been recording for 13, 14 minutes to this session, but then I think there was like those two couple minute things. So, but I think I got time for this because it shouldn't be too long. It'd probably take me longer to get over there. Maybe, maybe not longer, but it is a pretty easy quest. Assuming I don't get kind of like screwed by some by having like too many zombies. Who like took the crates? Who just who just takes crates? Jeez. You know who just takes crates like that? The fuck. Crane, I'm at the building. Listen, the entire outer structure is electrified. That's Hansen's trademark. He was the first to rig the electric traps. He's got the real knack for it. I could bow these guys down, actually, now that I think about it. Save myself some trouble. And looking at the map. Oh wait, no, it is there is one there. Okay. It's just not a circle because I'm close to it. Maybe I'll shut the door. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. Do I have time for this? Eh, I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it close. Ooh. Jeez, this other one's really far. Toss one firecracker. This should be good. Me to run in and do this. Hansen. Looks like he took a fall, and then the biters finished him off. He's been dead for a while. What about the others? I'll let you know when I find something. Oh, so is that what they were eating, Hansen? This sucks. Unfortunate. Where would he fall from? Hang on a minute. Oh shit! That's gonna blow up. That's annoying. Game, you better not scam me! No! The scam- I've been scammed! Come on, why would you not grab? Why- and why can't you grab anything on the side? Come on, man. What a ripoff. <sighs> Oof. Oh, now you work. Now you work. Of course. What the fuck? You didn't fall off? How come you guys could get up here in like one second? 
I can barely grapple up here. I thought the thing was like right here. Another note? Cool. Which one of you has the friggin' radio? Or the whatever. I could have sworn it was this dude. Or maybe this one, but... You in here? No. I don't know why I always have so much trouble with this. Right here. This is Seref. It seems we've run out of options. Two weeks ago, Hansen fell off the scaffold right after switching on the security system. But now the entire building is electrified, and we've been trapped up here ever since. No one's responded to our distress calls, and we've run out of supplies. The only thing left is some cyanide that Hansen thoughtfully brought with him. Anyway, given the choices, we've all decided to go this way. There was talk of trying to go cannibal, but then we'd just be smarter versions of biters. Better this way. Besides, how smart are we for allowing Hansen to leave us stranded up here in the first place? Thanks for finding us, whoever you are. Sorry, for the mess. Seraph, Hassan. Damn. It's rough. I found the rest of his group. They're all dead. They killed themselves. Why? What the hell happened? It looks like Hansen switched on the security grid and then fell. The rest of his people got stranded on the roof with no way down. Looks like they eventually ran out of supplies and decided to, to cash out. They, they couldn't get into the building? Well, it seems Hansen had the only key. Guess he didn't trust anyone else. No, Hansen never trusted other people. Yeah, it's too bad they trusted him. Thanks for going out there, Crane. Jafar out. So here's something. I, I, I kind of find it hard to believe that, you know, all of these adults you know, could not find a way to just get to break this door or anything. Like, I'm sure, you know, this type of door is not exactly, you know, plywood, but still, I feel like between all of them, they could, you know, get through it before they starve to death. And also, one, one thing to think about is, like, where did they get the key? Like, Hansen had a key, apparently, but where did he get it from? Right? You know, it's, you know, you're looking at the chaos of the apocalypse. Like, where do you get this key? I guess maybe, like, if you go to that down to you know the bottom floor, like to some sort of apartment building or something. If you go down to the bottom floor, maybe in like the I don't know the main office or whatever. There, you know, maybe there's like an extra behind the counter or like what something maybe. But it's like, what are the chances of the person who has the key dying anywhere near the building? And what you know, like, and then you've got to find the key and then come up here and try, you know, try every single one on his keychain, hoping it works. Like, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> and you know, you can't exactly make keys at this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think anybody right now is really gonna have the tools for it. You know? I mean, I guess maybe they could, but I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.